everyone, it's me again and welcome to Faith's Finds. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Faith Grenade and I put makeup videos here on YouTube. Sometimes. And you should subscribe and hit that little bell icon down below. It'll notify you every time I upload so you don't miss a minute of this riveting action. The plushies are still up. Do we like them? Do we not like them? I think they're kind of cute. You have stumbled across Face Finds, which is another haul. I know this is like the third time in the last two months that I've done a haul, but like I said, I did some retail therapy and I mentioned in my last haul that some of the stuff that I had ordered hadn't come in yet. Uh, well, I bought more things and uh, now I'm gonna show them to you. So most of what I bought was palettes in a turn of events that surprises fucking nobody. You probably have seen some of these before in the past, but I don't care. I'm gonna show them again just because it's, you know, what it's what's for dinner. So we're just gonna do that. The first thing that I'll show you is not a palette. Uh, this is from Bite Beauty. This is their astrology lipstick in the shade Libra. I had to get this because I am a Libra. Uh, it's a nice, warm, sort of yellowy toned, chocolatey brown. I cannot wait to mess around with this. I also heard that sometime in November they're launching a little vault for about $75 of mini versions of all of the astrology lipsticks, including the two star signs that they hadn't released yet. And I'm gonna be picking that up because these Bite Beauty and Moose Bouche lipsticks are rapidly becoming my favorite formula of lipstick on the planet. They're basically what I wear every time I do my makeup and I love astrology. I'm kind of a huge nerd about that kind of thing. So on to the palettes. I'm not sure which ones of these you guys have seen and which ones you've not seen, but I'm just gonna show them anyway, just because that's who I am this week. Um, last week, you guys did see this a little bit in my last video. This is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. I am so happy I have this in my life. I can't wait until I actually have time to do makeup again so I can use this. I am pumped that I finally got this. Um, I even bought one for my sister for our birthday. Uh, she took me out to dinner. I bought her makeup. What else is new? But um, as soon as I opened this in front of her, her eyes fucking lit up because we both love green and you just don't see a ton of palettes anymore with all of these delicious, beautiful greens. That black is insane. And then you've got these very workable, kind of warm, mustardy neutrals that I always love. So I think this is rapidly gonna become one of my favorite palettes. Do I like the forced scarcity bullshit that they did uh, with the first launch of this? No, I hate the fact that they were like, oh yeah, this is gonna be limited edition, but they never said how limited, and then it sold out in like a minute, and they were like, yeah, we're not restocking it. And I was like, oh my god, this is bullshit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So do I like that? No. Do I like the fact that they brought it back? Yes. Am I gonna like the palette? Yeah, probably. And now I have the matching set. Next up, I got some new things from Sephora's Pro line. I got the three new Sephora Pro palettes that they've brought out for this year. If you guys remember last year, I bought the Sephora Pro Warm, Sephora Pro Cool, and Sephora Pro Editorial palettes. I love those. Like, I still use them from time to time. They're fantastic. So when I found out that they were coming out with not one, not two, but three brand new colorways, I was like, uh, yeah, need all of them immediately, please. Yes, thank you. First one they came out with is the Pro Editorial 2.0. Now I almost didn't pick this up because I saw Pro Editorial and I was like, oh, I have that already. But then I realized, oh no, this is a brand new set of colors. These palettes are huge. <laughs> so this is Pro Editorial Volume 1 and this is Pro Editorial 2.0. You can see that they're totally different sets of shades. The Pro Editorial 2 has a lot of duochromes in it, which I'm really excited about. I was doing some swatching and some playing last night and I'm really pumped about this. I love that citrine yellow, that bright orange, that bright red, lots of fun duochrome blues, this gorgeous pastel shade here, and then you've got some workable neutrals to kind of pull everything together a little bit, which I really like. I This palette has a lot of colors that I'm not seeing a ton of, so I'm really, really excited to mess around with it. The next one in the line here is the New Nudes palette. Uh, this one is beautiful. Look at that. I mean, talk about workable, friggin' gorgeous. I don't think I've even swatched this yet. No, I haven't even swatched this yet. So enjoy the clean palette porn, guys. You've got this beautiful pop of magenta right here. You've got some nice cool little purples 
over here. Is it just me or does this remind anyone else of the Norvina palette by ABH? Because this reminds me a lot of the Norvina palette. I even took a picture of the two of them uh, together and I put it on my Snapchat because holy shitsies, these look almost like they're not completely identical, but they look very similar. I'm excited to mess around with this because just looking at it makes me happy. I mean, it is it like a revolutionary color selection? No, but I feel like this would make a beautiful bridal palette for the bride who's really looking for something kind of on trend. Um, and a little bit more than just your standard neutral eye. I could see this being beautiful for somebody who's a very simple makeup wearer, but would like some more options in terms of color, uh, or would like everything all in one place. I could see this being absolutely fantastic for that. The colors look delicious. Cannot wait to dig into that. And finally, the one that I was looking most forward to was the Sephora Pro Pigment Palette in the shade selection Smoky Jewels. Are you ready for this? Is your body ready? Ooh, I cannot wait to mess around with this. Jewel tones are my jam. Greens are my jam. You've got a lot of really juicy greens in here. Some tasty blues, some nice tealy looking colors. Like, oh, this just looks like right up my alley. And it's gorgeous. And a lot of the shades are named after stones, which of course I'm all about. So this is basically like if they made Faith Grenade into a palette, <laughs> this is what it would look like. Um, the minute I saw this online, I knew I had to pick it up. Oh, so beautiful. Moving right along, I've got a couple of new things from Visart. I believe you guys saw these a little bit uh, in my last video, but I did get the new Visart Libertine eyeshadow palette. This is one of their new consumer palettes. This is what it looks like. Beautiful. That fucking dark matte navy blue is insane. They've also got a couple of colors here that are actually sheer mattes that are meant to aid in blending out other colors, which is pretty genius. You got some new formulas to play around with in here. I love these little palettes. I have every single one that Visart's come out with. And yeah, I know they're consumer palettes. They're not like, you know, pro-centered palettes, but they're still beautiful and they're beautiful standard selections of colors. I bring these guys, uh, these nine pan formats a lot when I travel because you just get everything you need all in one place and it's nice and compact and small. So love that. Then I got, <laughs> I think you guys have seen this already, the Visart Le Grand Pro Volume 2. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't not. I mean, yeah, it's $170, but I couldn't not pick this up. I mean, you'll see when you, when you see it just, ju <laughs> this is on another level insane. I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys this already, but I'm showing it to you again. Tons of new formulas from Visart. This is a winner and a half. I've already used it once or twice and I absolutely love it. The fallout is kind of crazy, but do your eyes first, use a mixing medium. That's basically what this palette was meant for. It is a pressed pigment palette. So it was really meant to be used with mixing mediums and the like to create all kinds of different texture contrasts and stuff. And the makeup, the professional makeup artist in me is dying over this thing. It is so unique. There's so many beautiful, beautiful duochromes and fun metallics and, you know, glittery shades in here. And I'm just, I'm all about it. Moving along to the next thing on the docket. This one's kind of controversial a little bit but I got the Kat Von D fetish palette. Now, it did take some thinking before I finally decided to get this. As you guys know, there's a lot of controversy associated with Kat Von D right now, and she's refusing to vaccinate her child, and you know, everybody's kind of all up in arms about that. Listen, corporations aren't people, if you ask me. Well, I mean, they're financially speaking and legally speaking, they're people, but they're not people, if you ask me. And, you know, if I boycotted everything, that, that every company that was run by a shitty person, I literally wouldn't be able to live. I feel like we've had this conversation recently. Yeah, I, for me, I'm going to buy a palette if I'm interested in it, if I'm intrigued by the, th the theme or the colorways or anything like that, regardless of how shitty the owner is. The only exception I make in regards to that is I don't buy from companies that, um, I try to avoid buying company from companies that test on animals and I try to avoid buying from companies that have a history of uh, internet security breaches because I don't want my credit card information stolen. Real talk. But at the end of the day, I am here on YouTube to review makeup for you guys, which means sometimes buying makeup that I otherwise maybe wouldn't have. Um, but this, a lot of people are complaining that this packaging is cheap. It doesn't look cheap to me at all. I mean, look at that 
thread patterning. Isn't that insane? Holy shit. Like, this is beautiful. And I was thinking, all right, maybe all the budget went into the packaging design and the shadows are going to be shit. But, I mean, I, I, now, there are people who are saying that these colors are patchy, that they don't blend, that they're awful. I swatched these. Now, I know swatching has no indication of how it's going to play on the eyes, and I haven't done an eye look with this yet. But I swatched these, and they look pretty fucking bomb. Like, I mean... Kat Von D's kind of been slacking in her palette quality since I feel like the last good thing that came from her line for me was the Metal Matte palette way back in the day. I think that was holiday two years ago. But I swatched these guys and they look fantastic. I mean, juicy pigmented, super, super soft, nice and blendable. There were really only a couple of shades that I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But I mean, it looks really good. So I don't know. I did buy this off of Kat Von D's website and I noticed that a lot of the people who are having issues with the palette bought it from Sephora. So maybe there's like a batch issue or something. I don't know. Batch issues do tend to happen more often with holiday releases because they are typically churned out very, very quickly. Uh, I have a couple of things from Saucebox. You guys know I love Saucebox as a brand. I love their shadows. Their owner is fantastic. She's wonderful. Um, but this is the Saucebox Nocturne palette. I don't know if I've shown you guys this yet, but this is so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my god, that blue and that green though. Holy shit. And then you've got these workable neutral mattes up top. Such a gorgeous, simple, staple palette for somebody who likes neutral to cool tones, which I've been wanting to play more in the cool tones lately. I mean, I feel like we've been doing warm looks a lot. I feel like it's time to move on and kind of play around in the cool and smokies for a little bit. I adore this. I love Saucebox's shadows. Their quality is amazing. I also got another one of their double decker palettes, which is a refillable palette that has two layers. So you can stack multiple shadows. And with that, I got this little bundle. Aren't these cute? These are like their fall shadow bundle. I also got a couple more sets of singles from them. One of them is their fall signature line. And then another one is like uh, another sort of basic mats collection. But I do really like these. These look awesome. Palette in my haul today is the Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. Now, I waited on this for a long time and it was one of those things that I kept going back to and going back to and going back to every time I was in Sephora and I was just like, you know what? Why am I waiting on this? Why don't I just fucking take the plunge? I had a couple of uh, Violet Voss palettes in the past and I remembered liking them a lot, but I haven't used one in forever and this one looks pretty goddamn bomb. You can see it looks like your standard normal warm palette with some other greens thrown in. What is it with me and greens? I know, I love green, I can't help it. This actually has a ton of like interesting shades with interesting sort of color shifts. You've got a bunch of duochromes that are kind of hanging out over here. That gold is on another level insane. So the colors seem pigmented nice and I've been trying to find more sort of small indie brands to start doing videos with. So yeah, absolutely. I, I went ahead and picked this up. That's about it for me for today, guys. Uh, and it's going to be it for me for a while. I have one or two more things that I wanna buy from holiday collections that are coming out. But honestly, a lot of the stuff really doesn't like, you know, blow my skirt up so to speak, but I do have a couple of things on my wish list. I want to get the Kevin Aquan Nude Pop eyeshadow palette because I have his Electro Pop or their, uh, the brand's Electro Pop eyeshadow palette, and I love this. I remember using the Living Badookies out of this thing, so I definitely want to get the new Nude Pop shadow palette because that looks beautiful. And then, like I said, the Bite Beauty Astrology Vault, I'm definitely going to be picking that up as well. But other than that, guys, I really haven't been getting really like drawn to a ton. Um, like I said in my last video, I tend to spend money on makeup in fits and starts. So it's like I'll spend, you know, a ton of money one month and then go half a year without buying anything. You know what I mean? So this does seem like a lot and it is. But you know, this was just, it happened to be a point in time where a bunch of new releases were coming out and I just, I wanted to try uh, quite a bit that was coming out. But 
In the meantime, in between time, I hope you guys found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining. If you did, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt. You know it deserves it. And if you want to see more from me, you've got a couple options. Now you can click the videos on either side of my head to binge if you're bored or bummed out. Or hey, you can hit that button that looks like my face and subscribe and become a member of the faithful today. I put out new videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Toodles.